Congressman, I know you've been to a number of these prayer breakfasts as I have. We have a new president now, President Obama. We've heard from Prime Minister Tony Blair, former Prime Minister. What was your assessment? How did you register this one? Well, this is really about the people who come here from 162 nations, all 50 states, people of faith, many representing small groups, groups in parliaments around the world, people who reach out to leadership who would like a leadership led by God, which is the concept of the founder of this national conference. Quite clear, yeah, yeah. Comes through clearly every year, yeah. And so it's really about the people who come and network and support one another and get a boost in what they're doing all through the year in their little groups, in their own communities. And, uh, you know, we come to honor our leadership, to honor our president. The scriptures say, first of all, I would call talk, talking to Timothy in 1 Timothy 2, 1 and 2, that prayers, intercessions, giving of thanks be made for kings and all those in authority that we might lead quiet, peaceful, godly, honest lives. So, yeah, it doesn't say a select group, it says all. Yeah. And, 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 well, and it says, well first of all, pray for kings. So his king was Nero, a vile emperor. First of all, many of us don't pray maybe once a month, once a week. First of all, he said. So we need to pray for Top our priority. Because God, the scriptures say, can turn the heart of a king like a water horse any way he wishes. And what can move the hand of God? It's the prayers of his people. So we come to recommit ourselves to this idea of praying for our leaders. Okay, for my subscribers, I want you to know, this isn't a preacher, pastor talking here. This is a congressman. This is the kind of congressman we pray God will multiply. Thank you. Thank you for your faithfulness to the Lord and to this movement. Well, my pleasure. It's a great honor.